All right. Um, welcome to another office hour of four four nine. Um, we'll continue to um, solve interview questions on App Signal. I ended up with like solving uh, last one. I think the last one I was uh, uh, stuck on was um, this. Uh, um, I forgot which one. It's just smooth sailing island of knowledge. I think it was this one. Um, that remove parentheses thing. I think I solved it using. Um, I gave it a more um, clear thought on how we should retract the parentheses to be precise. Um, I think it's this one. Oh no, it's not a similar. This, this should be previous. Four. Yeah, it, it's this one. Okay. Um, so this is this is I learned something is we should we should uh, um, what we should do is we should track the rightmost left parentheses uh, not this back uh, reverse parentheses and that this this is a this is a solution. Um, we should first, so this R find is, uh, for example, if we give it a shot, X equal that, X R find is find the rightmost whatever um, this happens. This is the index of the rightmost like left parentheses. So for example, if we back to uh, here, we give it another test. For example, this one, um, if we are find the left parentheses, we'll get the right most left parentheses. For example, um, this is a, uh, this is the eighth position of this string and it has in this index seven. Okay. And uh, um, let me just close this, this, and this. Let me pull up a new one. All right, let's back. The island of knowledge. All right. Are uh, equally strong. The question is. Um, it says, call two arms equally strong if the heaviest weights they each are able to lift, lift are equal. Call two people equally strong if the strongest arm are equally strong. All right. And so, uh, so are their weakest arms. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Given your and your friend's arm lifting capability and find out if you two are equally strong. So our left and our right. I mean, this this is a is this too simple? This problem I like uh, one line. For example, I equally strong is our friend's left. So it's essentially return return your left equals friend's left equal equal your right equal equal friends right <laughs> and that that that's it wow th this problem sh is short 
Oh, something's wrong. 10 out of... Um... Your left is... Your friend's left is uh, 15. Oh, okay. Now I got it. If it's false, we need... We can't have that. Okay. We can't have false equals false. Okay. I see. Um... So I think false times false is true. Oh no, I'm not sure. Um, let me open up uh, an interactive Python. False times false. It's false, of course. Zero times zero. We should use times. Um, we should use and, that's right. There we go. Um, I think false and false is true. Really? It's false, of course. So our left is, um, output is false. Uh, friends right is 10. Oh, 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 equally strong. I see. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So strongest um, are equally strong. All right. So we, we should use max. One, two. Um, all right. Strength. All right. Let, let me define my strength equals... Um, oh, it's elegantly. How, how do we do uh, elegantly? How do we do this elegantly? So my, yeah, let, let, let me just use a stupid way. My strength max equals uh, max your left, your right. And my str min equals minimum of your left. And you're right. And my friend's strength max equals max of my friends. There should be there should be more elegant way of solving this, but let me just solve this in our stupid way. And let, let's check like the hackers, what the hackers do. Friends strength men equals max friends left. Oh, my bad. Left. Friends right. All right. So we should check if my strength maximum is friends maximum. And uh, um, if my strength minimum is my friends minimum. Now let's run our test. What? Okay. My strength maximum is 15. Output is false. Oh, copy and paste error, my bad. Okay, that's wrong. All right, submit. Correct. Continue. Let's check like the most elegant way of sobbing. Pi three. Oh, of course, we use set. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, all right. So let me explain uh, the curly parentheses. Curly parentheses is a, I think this is a set type. Um. In Python, a set, what a set does is it doesn't tell, so it's literally a set. For example, repetitive, uh, repetitive entry doesn't get uh, counted. For example, if I type one, 
one 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 on like list we track every um entry for example i have a four ones and three twos first we have a list right without the curly bracket okay without curly bracket we have a list and this is a list we let x equal that and x is a list but if we do it a set all right we just got one two but i i do believe i can uh, also use this oh no i can't um unhashable all right so i i i have to use for example i should use i for i in x i think yeah so um this is a set i mean th this way is really elegant um i use set often in my research but i didn't think about this yeah this is a this is a much better way than what i did all right what's this problem it says given an array of integers find the maximal absolute difference between any two of its adjacent element i think it should be maximum this should be a typo um, the output should be maximum adjacent that okay this one is not too bad let's say uh the diff equals is abs built in i'm, I'm not sure if abs is built in it is it is built in okay so uh it should be abs um x not x is oh input array yeah let me change this to x uh abs x i plus one subtract i for i in um x um in range len x minus one so this will give us a list of the difference and then we return the maximum of diff let's run test all right let's submit this, this let me explain this line of code is essentially for i in index till like the last entry we compute the difference between consecutive neighbors and then we just take the maximum so we submit all right it's not too bad continue all right is ipv4 address oh okay an ip address is a numerical label assigned to each device participating a computer network that uses internet protocol for communication i like it i like uh code signal even in included a definition of ip address here there are two um versions of internet protocol and thus two versions of addresses one of them is ipv4 address wow <laughs> it even includes something okay uh for example this one is then is a valid ipv4 address this is a valid this is not a valid because uh 280 is too large to be an 8-bit integer 8-bit integer largest one is 2 uh 55 it's because 8-bit uses 8 literally bit to store numbers so the maximum number we have is uh 255 and basically if it satisfies ipv4 address um it's good and for example it's 
Yeah, we just we just uh, um, need to find extract all the numbers. So, for example, let me let me start a new file and save it as uh, number six. All right, and we uh. We still do import um, numpy as mp. Then we let our IP address as a string. Um, I'm not quite familiar with string. Let's check what string has for its built-in method, except looking for um do we have a divide is numeric is printable we don't uh our partition okay what's our partition Let, let's try our partition what does it do apparently okay huh <laughs> what, what what's what it does is Right partition. Okay. Oh, we can apply partition instead of that. Oh, partition is left partition. Okay. So, um, okay. Here's what we do. Um, we we recursively partition um, x. So, um, for example, I think there is a method is empty, is numeric, is decimal. Uh, well, len, let me just check len. So, for example, the len should be zero. Okay. Let me check while len of x is greater than zero, we do the following. We get a tuple, right? Um, we have we have our like a uh, number, so um, yeah, we, we we do an empty list. So uh, so for example, so we have uh, um, like digits equals empty, and while len is greater than zero. We uh we digits we like uh we uh we retrieve something like uh all uh like partition equals x like x uh like partition equals x partition uh dot and then the digits should be append the the first partition, um, the first one, all right. And then um, X becomes the last one. Huh? Okay. And we do this. It runs an A iteration. I think it's good. So if we check the digits, yeah, we get this. Cool. Um, so, uh, what if I change this to INT, do I get, uh, a number? Yep. That's right. Okay. The only thing I'm concerned about is what if we have empty here? What we have? Whoops, something's wrong. Okay. All right. If I should do this, if Lempart. Yeah, I should do. Um, 
So int empty string cannot be uh this is invalid, exactly. And this this might be trouble if we convert it to um string. So I should do if len of partition zero is greater than zero, we do that. Okay. So if we have this, my digits should be only, let me print digits. We only length three exactly. We need we need a, like a four length digit. Okay, now uh, here's what we're gonna do. We just copy this. We turn it into a function. Let me let me uh, IP uh, check if a string is a valid IPv4 address. All right, let's paste it here. Uh, X should be the input string. Let me change this to X. We do that. Okay. And what we should return is we return the length of the digits should be equal to four. Otherwise, we, we can't get a valid address and the maximum of uh, uh, digits should be less than or equal to 255. Let's check if this is good. Ooh, execution error. 1A. Oh, <laughs> so there is a... Uh, Okay. Okay. You can't have that. All right. I see. It should be numeric. So, for example, I should check if this is numeric. Uh, is numeric. Is this digit? Oh, sorry. It's true. So, for example, one A, it's false. Darn it. If lem partition is zero and okay, let, let me use uh, let me use that x partition uh, string. So. Uh, x s equal that all right if length s is greater than zero and uh, s is digit then we append s all right this is kind of sneaky i assume it was letters but uh um in fact um, it can be, it can be, uh, I'm sorry. I assume it's numbers, but in fact, it can be letters. Oh, uh, digits, pen, oh, here, indentation. Oh, test 10. What does it do? Oh, zero, zero. Okay. <laughs> if it's zero, it cannot be five. Let me check. INT zero zero. Wow, INT can do that. Okay. So if if it's zero, I have to check the length of zero as well. Let me let me see what other test I failed to pass double zero all right 
Zero one. Aha. Zero one. Okay. Yeah. X equal this. All right. For example, now let's see. Uh huh. So S is zero one. All right. S is zero one right now. Um. Apparently, lens of S. Um. S is zero one right now. Um. Apparently, the lens of S is、uh, greater than zero. And S is indeed digit. Let me check what zero one is about. So, for example, zero one is is digit. Apparently, it's not decimal, is it? It's true. Zero one is digit. I think I should add a、um, a further. If the first、um, okay, and is digit.、Mm -hmm. So、um, if len of s is greater than or equal to two. Um, and、uh, the first one cannot be zero. Okay, if the first one is zero, then it's bad. And、uh, um, s first one is not zero. Okay, so zero one. What's the first one? It's a string. Okay. Now let's try this again. We print digit. Let me get rid of this、uh, breakpoint. All right. So it didn't. It didn't type that. Okay. Yeah, I should add this line to it. There we go. It should be good for the that to test. Oh, another. Okay. Wait, which two? Test one. Output is false. <laughs> True. All right. Um. Length is two. S zero is not.、Uh, if length s is greater than zero and.、Uh, um, Is digit? Why this? This seems like a, a pretty normal one. I'm getting false. Why? 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 Oh, okay. That's why. There we go. So if it's digit, if length s is one, we just do append.、Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, l if this becomes l if if it's greater than or equal to two, then we have to check、um, an extra condition. That is,、uh, the first digit cannot be zero. Let's try if this is good.
Hmm? Oh, I should change the indent a bit. Let's run test. 21. Ah, failed. Oh. <laughs> okay, output is true. But it should be false. Wow, this, this problem is more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, this is uh, this is somewhat challenging. Why this is the case is because we have an empty string. So what if we have an empty string? Um, is digit okay? We need to record this empty right here. So len s is greater than zero, all right. Um, if we get a zero, we return false, basically. Yeah. We change. This to um, here. All right. So if len of s is zero, all right, return false. Now, now if we have this, we do this, blah, blah, blah. Now let's run test again. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Oh, passed. <laughs> Continue. Close. Let, let's check. Uh, uh, let's check. Uh, let's check the best solution. What they do. Oh, the first one is Python three. Okay, well you do split. Yeah, how 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 does split the difference with the partition? Oh, uh, this is my x. My bad. So let me change. If x is this, x split. Oh, split is much better than uh, partition. Okay. Um, a direct. It directly it directly gives me a list. Now let's read this. Uh, return len p is equal to four. All right, it should be four. Yeah, we, we essentially we we do this, and or and is digit. So it should be digit, and int for n in p. So, what puzzles me is all n is digit. So, for example, um, n for n in p. So, for example, uh, if it's that, it should be zero one is digit. It's true. Why this is correct? It, it seems wrong to me in the first place. And uh, um, X is here is IP before address X. It's true. <laughs> this one should returns false. I think this is a wrong solution. Why this is wrong. This is like uh, this solution is somehow wrong. You see? Yeah, this solution is wrong. <laughs> this solution is wrong. But uh, um, I guess it's kind of fast. He, he has to add another extra condition that uh, to tell like digits are not uh, uh, zero, 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 one. zero, zero, or zero, one. All right. Okay. 22, avoid obstacles. Input array. 
You are given an array of integers representing coordinates of obstacles situated on a straight line. Assume that you are jumping from the point with coordinate zero to the right. You are allowed to only make jumps of the same length represented by some integer. Find the minimum length of jump enough to avoid all the obstacles. Oh, uh, okay. So essentially, essentially, we loop through integers so that、uh, none of them、uh, is a multiple of、uh, of the array. All right. So what's the biggest number? Let's check what's the biggest number. It's less than a thousand. Uh, input array length is less than a thousand, and we are only allowed、uh, four. We're only allowed four seconds of execution time. And what we do is we're gonna do.、Um, if it's a thousand, okay. We should do、uh, for i in range thousand integer.、Um, so is multiple is、um, is input array、uh, k. Can be、uh, is a multiple of i for k in. Oh no, I, I I think I can just directly do this instead of that. K in k is for k in input array. Uh huh. So, if、um, let me check if it has all、uh, true, 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 true. Okay. So all function we use just all function because、uh, it needs to be all true.、Um, Okay.、Um, oh wait, no.、Um, so it needs to be all false. I think.、Uh, let me check. Let me check this. So, for example, if I have nine, all right.、Uh, nine apparently can be divided by three. And we get minus one, what? Zero. Okay.、Um, so we check the bool. Oh my bad. It should be bool. So it should be boss. Um. So returns or true means uh it cannot be. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I think what I did here is correct. Is multiple. So this is avoid obstacles. Input array is. Let's check what input array is. Let's say input array is this guy. Um. What happens should be um. What happens should be.、Um, what happens here should be.、Um, we should return.、Um, we we should check like、um, print. All right. Let me let me just check like fifty.、Uh, all right. So let's print all. 
is multiple. Oh, integer division modulo or modulo by zero. Oh, my bad. Uh, it should be 150. Um, and I should change this to bool. Um, all right. So uh, when it's greater than that, I should I should uh, range is a maximum input array. Mm -hmm. So for example, this is one is wrong, two is wrong, three is wrong, four is good. Then we return. Okay, uh, if if this is first so if if that we print i print i okay there we go i think this will do all right um or is multiple return i It's wrong test. Oh, test two is wrong. Okay, output is null. Um, input array is two, three. Expected output is four. Um, okay. So if if every every uh, every counter every count uh, okay so if everything is false, so we, we just check the counter. Uh, counter equals zero. Um, like uh, there is no return because everything is false. Like uh, else. If it's not that, counter plus one, okay. Um, so now, um, now, now if counter, um, if counter, so, um, equals the length of the array, input array. We return the maximum of input array plus one. Let's check again. Uh huh. Three out of six. Only passed three out of six. Output is 11, but I expected output is seven. Huh? Okay. Wow, what's this? Mm hmm. Seven, eight, nine. I think it already returned. Uh huh. And and break. Yeah, I sh I should say this break. Return I and break. I should add a break, yeah. Otherwise you will return another like a uh, number. So L if, if it's not counter plus one, if it's counter equals the length of the input array, um, I should add a break here, that's right. It's, test three is still wrong, really? 11, okay. If all is multiple print i, but uh, uh, I should also break here. Yeah, it only gives me seven. And we return this i, yeah. Break. 
Oh, it's break the for loop. Um, and return I. So let me let me let me break this, and then we uh, print I. See if it's seven, right? It's seven. Mm -hmm. Right. So we break. Um, and we return. Whoops. We return I. Um, so else, else, what happens is if every, if every uh, number is, cannot be divided by um, this I, then we'll return maximum plus one. What's this counter? Let me, let me add this counter here. Counter equals zero. Um, else counter plus one. All right. Oh, I don't have to do that. I mean, if I is okay, okay, there we go. I think this, this, this might be the case is if I like go through every element of the input array and we still cannot get an I, uh, let, let, then we should print, uh, it's two. Wow. What? Break. Um, So for i in the range of one, the max on the input three is uh, print i. i is two. Um, and here, um, i is a no. Oh, uh, I should, uh, I should do this. Okay. Then it's three. Yeah. So now, if okay. Okay, plus one. All right. Um, now here is a trick. Okay. So if I is less than maximum, let me, let me, let me change this to, yeah. Uh, max uh, N equal that. So, um, if i is less than max of n, we return i. So l if uh, i is equal to max n, then we should return i plus one. Now let's try it. Yep, this is a way. So in this way, because uh, um, if this for loop breaks, it means we have found a number that cannot be divided by any of the number and we should return that. If it is, uh, because we here we run i from one to uh, the maximum, the maximum value, I should change this to maximum value, okay, to make it more readable, okay. Um, if this runs the loop for loop from one to maximum value, okay. Now, if the maximum value, it, like I explained earlier, if I is le strictly less than the maximum value, it means we found some number cannot be divided by the array, then we're good. Now, if I is the maximum value, it means we run through the whole array, um, and still cannot find a multiple uh, to divide that. So we should return i plus one because uh, in this example, in the uh, example two, I believe, for example here, 
um, we should return four because uh, if we use the step four, we avoid all the obstacles. Yep, it's correct. Um, all right. Uh, let's check some uh, uh, solutions. Okay. Pi three. What? <laughs> oh my God. If sorted, avoid obstacles. I for I in input array. Uh, wow. This this is a cool. This is a very, very cool implementation. It's using while true and then breaks loop. Um, instead of C, let's print C. Oh, it's bad. Um, I should use break. Okay, it's four, right? So we, we have found the C, uh, for example, let me try. This is, this is the same trick we, we have used here. Okay. C is two. Why is that C? Oh, C should, yeah, one is not possible. Okay, C starts from two, that's fine. Um, sorted if it's greater than zero. Um, print C. I see C is two. So what's C? Let me try C. C is four. Okay, C is two. Sorted. Zero, one. So that means... Oh, we want to print sorted because uh, we want to avoid. We want to avoid uh, because we. Okay, so if if we do this uh, uh, remainder operation, we always get positive numbers. Uh, if we sort uh, this one, if we get all positive, we're good. But if the first entry is zero, we're bad. Wow, this is a clever way to do it okay i'm amazed but uh let's see if we can uh crack another problem before the office hour ends which is four o'clock okay box blur last night you partied a little bit too hard okay now there's a black white photo that you are about to go viral. You cannot let this ruin your reputation. You wanna apply box blur, uh, box blur algorithm to hide its content. Uh, the pixel in the input image are represented by integers. The algorithm distorts the input image by the following way. Every pixel in the output image has a value equal to the average value from the three by three square include x then the pixel on the border of x are then removed this is a convolution <laughs> um okay the average is that mm -hmm. okay the array length is that wow if I can do numpy, okay, Let, let's do numpy. Import numpy as mp. Wow, this is like cheating. Um, okay, and say image equals 
Can I, for example, if I have NumPy, can I do like x? Okay, x equals NumPy array one two uh, four four. Okay, so x is one two four four. If I do list x, what happens? <laughs> I get that. Okay, okay, okay. I see. So I should do uh, x to list. Can I? Is there a function to that? To list? No. Dir x. Yeah, it has a to list x to list. There we go. Okay. So image equals numpy array of image. What I want to do is we just uh, uh, we just apply the filter. Um, this is this is a pooling operation, like three by three, average. Okay. Um, So for example, this is average of uh, that. Okay. And uh, uh, I should do this. So filter equals numpy array of uh, of one one one, but divided by nine. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Should I introduce float here? Yeah, maybe I should not. Okay. Maybe I should divide the final. Yeah. Uh, fil filter. Okay, so filter is a uh, keywords. Yes. Oh, right. And now what we do is uh, for for every uh, for i in range. For example, if we have a full array, four by four array, we start from one. All right. And we want to end here. So it should be uh, so first, for example, a uh, blood image, blood uh, equals um, numpy zero like um, image one to minus one. One to minus one. Okay. So this gets us the correct size matrix, and now we just apply. Uh, we just apply um, what happens um, in the index. For example, here I what I want to do is we do length, we do image shape uh, zero. We we'll do minus one. Its shape is uh, uh, is four, so we do uh, minus one. Um, this is zero, one, and two. So we want to two, two. Yeah, this is good. And then we for uh, for i in that, and for j in the same range. Let's copy down here. And uh, um. And this blur, uh, IJ, so uh, this I is minus one, yeah, if it's two, it's, yeah, it's good, and this is J minus one, equals um, image, 
Um, so for example, if I want to do mean, mean of x, I will get uh, the mean, right? Oh, sorry, mp mean, my bad. Yep, okay. So image, example, I should do I minus one, mm -hmm. two, I plus one. For example, the first, it should be, uh, so I minus one, I, I plus two. Uh-huh, okay. To uh, J minus one, to J plus two, times the filter and then we do the mean okay. all right um i don't even have to do that i just do mean <laughs> why i want to apply filter i don't think this is useful i just do mean of that okay and then we return return blood to list let's see if it passes the test oh no <laughs> zero execution error um something went wrong numpy has how about now Okay, this one is wrong. Output, expected output is. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I assume it's square, but apparently it's not. So, um, the J is, the I is the number of rows. Yep, J is number of columns. So this should be uh, one. Yep. Yep. Let's try to submit it. And but before that, let me explain once again. Uh, I I used to uh, assume that our image is a square matrix, but in fact, it does not have to be. For example, um, um, I think I failed this test before. Is because I forgot to change. I copy and paste the size. J corresponds to columns. I corresponds to rows. Uh, and image shape number one is, uh, is number of columns. And let's sum it to see if it's correct. Correct, not too bad. Um, and let, let's see if, uh, I do believe the top solution must be, um, the top solution must be uh, written without NumPy. So let's check the top solutions. It's written in Py2. Let's check Py3. Okay. Row append sum for K in this, for K in that. For L in that. Oh, this is this is a for loop. It's not too bad. Answer append row. Uh, return answers. Oh, so for each row. Oh, okay, I see. Um, yeah, this is pretty elementary. Oh, this is cool. Uh, sum xi minus three. Oh, it's just, uh, okay. I think this, this is, even though this is nice, but it's almost unreadable because, uh, we have a nested list comprehension and I hate that. I think even though list comprehension is nice and we want to maintain the readability as well. I think using using Python, I'm sorry, using NumPy make it more readable. Uh, but let, let me just copy down my solution two minutes ago uh, to uh, here. I think this is a blur uh, image, blur matrix of a fixed size. All right. So I think that's it for today. Uh, 
actually already CoSignal complains because it said um, I solved five problems today, which is more than the average of two problems per day during office hour update. Oh, OH file. 